Hello, and welcome back to Mega Man Zero. This is Paper Hero, and we just got done fighting a lot of enemies. Also, a, uh, one of the four guardians, Fefnir, was beaten as well. Oh, I was going to choose another mission, but it looks like one's already prepared for me. So a big bulldozer is, uh, is running straight at the base, and uh, it's kind of, in a lot of Mega Man games, uh, maybe the later ones, not the, the classics and whatnot, but uh, like Mega Man X and stuff, there'd be like a, a mid-game, I don't know, mandatory level you'd have to do, some sort of mission. And in this one... It's, it's kind of some sort of sub-boss thing. It's, it's nothing truly really special. You'll see we're back at the uh, disposal center. So our goal is to make sure this thing doesn't reach the base. So it's got a weak point, apparently. Or three of them. Mines, okay. I was I was about to question the uh, how useful it is to have a compartment that fires bats. Clearly not very useful. Okay, um, reach this part. Now. I'm not sure my saber could do it, and I'm pretty sure jumping on this thing is a, is a no. Stop doing that! You notice how this thing's kind of wrecking the ground? Um, I'm pretty sure it's a permanent change to the level. So things are going to look a little different next time I decide to go grind here or something. Chances are against me doing that, though, because... I don't know, this area's not that special. No, I did it. Oh, a little bit better score. Been some real hits and misses here, usually depending on whether I, I do something on my first try or not, I guess. Alright. So now that that's over with, maybe we should save real quick? And I think... I'm not entirely 100% sure on this, I don't remember, it's been a while, but um, I'm fairly certain the use of elves will actually hurt your score. But I think it's time to try some out just for fun. So, um, I don't currently have enough E-Crystals to really feed any of these guys. Uh, they take quite a lot, especially you, you... This guy's kinda cool, it makes me run faster. But, um, not after those. I want one of these guys. Sort of looks like a bird, if you can really tell. Maybe, uh, let's grab a small. This will heal me. And... Beezus! Our lord and savior, right here. This is... I don't remember that name, but it's incredible. So, with that, we can continue to the next mission. I think I already have one picked up. I climbed faster than the elevator, that's science for you. Alright. I think I want to go rescue Colbor. He's been sitting around for a while. So, uh, go Colbor. So we snuck into uh, a secret base in the subway area. We remember that. That's where that train was. Yeah, 
you recognize this. This is right after where we hopped on the train. for this area might actually want to already pull out an elf. So this guy right here is our, our bird friend. Doesn't do anything now except sit there, but uh, we might end up needing him. sure if that platform was there. <laughs> kind of a risk taker here. Oh. So I think I need to use electricity to activate this, but I only have a charged attack with one weapon. This should work. There we go. So that's a little bit of uh, how elements work. See, I've got the uh, thunder element equipped. I can use it with charged attacks. Sometimes it'll activate stuff. Usually it's useful for uh, boss fights. If you know an elemental weakness, you can do a lot more damage. This looks like Colbor's unit. Oh. Guy look, kind of looks like Fefnir, that's because it's another guardian. So this is Harpuya. He's a pretty cool guy, except uh, he's also one of the uh, lamest boss fights in the entire game if you have his elemental weakness. We'll see how he does without it though, because I, I don't have my charge attack yet. Haven't been farming nearly as much as I normally would. Oh. And I'm already off to a really messy start. Might be having some troubles with my emulator here. Um, I don't remember these kind of sword beams he's, shoot he's shooting to kind of blink in and out like that, but it's making them really, really hard to see. It's probably a setting on my emulator that can change that. Blah, blah, blah. It calls me a maverick, which means I'm a robot that went crazy. It's a. Uh, Bit of a lore for this game. I'm going to die again. Yeah, I really can't see those things. I would try the shield, but I know it's not going to block those. Actually, I don't know that. Let's try it out. Blah, blah, blah. So, uh, this guy right here, he'll be uh, a thunder element, of course. I only have thunder. So, I'm not going to equip that. Nope. Jump. Nope. Alright, this time I'm gonna remember to use my elf. I seriously don't have a charge attack yet. Nope. In later games, they actually abolished the, abolished the uh, level up on your weapon and stuff. You kind of start with everything. Certainly makes it a lot easier. Yeah, you kind of just lock him into the 
this pattern. If you can see these attacks, it's a much easier experience. I'm gonna get like a 30 point score on this. Just atrocious. Time bonus, gone. Health bonus, gone. Didn't kill that many enemies either. At least I rescued Kolbor and none of his men. So yeah, this guy's got like four or five different attacks, but if you hit him, he'll always do one of them. This, this triple hit combo, followed by the jump. Every time. The uh, short dive he does is actually a grab, so uh, I'd rather not get hit by that. He's trying for it, though. Oh, there we go. I really don't want to die here. Oh, I'm using elves. My score's going to be even worse. So I do kind of this, uh, this shockwave with my sword now. It's very powerful. Stay healthy. I'm a robot. Oh, 47. Wow. I, I seem to remember Codename Slayer being uh, reserved only for having an S rank in the other games, but in this one I guess you can get it for doing absolutely terrible. Anyways, I normally would have cut off here, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to cut off here. It's been about that time. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy it. Until next time.